board here. Oh yeah, we're calling these uh, student shorts because, you know. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Student Shorts, Quarantine Edition. Today joining me is Ben Anderson. I'm gonna let Ben introduce himself. Uh, ben, tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, um, what you studied at Hampton Sydney, and, and anything you were involved in at the school. Yeah, absolutely, thanks Marshall. My name is Ben Anderson. I'm from Smithfield, Virginia. I'm currently a senior at Hampton Sydney, uh, majoring in economics and business and minoring in rhetoric. Nice, good deal. Um, what made you choose Hampton Sydney? Can you talk a little bit about your college search, um, where you were in the process and, and how you wound up on the Hill? Sure, I definitely remember my junior and senior years in high school looking at colleges all over the place. Um, Hampton Sydney is one of the first schools I toured. And um, I remember every single school after that, I just kept comparing everything I saw to Hampton Sydney. Um, so at the end of, kind of near the end of my college search, I went back for a second time to Hampton Sydney. And it just seemed like it was the, the best place for me. I've gone to small schools my whole life. So being in a smaller environment was something I was used to and I felt like I would be comfortable at a place like Hampton Sydney. Um, you know, being in a smaller classroom where you get to know your professors really well, um, having those, you know, more, more opportunities outside of the classroom too, you know, getting involved in student government or Greek life. Um, I knew I'd have those, those opportunities at Hampton Sydney. And I just remember my, my first tour of campus, um, walking around campus, my tour guide seemed to know every single person we passed and like knew him by name too. So, man, this guy must be the, you know, the coolest guy around, but uh, turns out that's just the way Hampton Sydney is. Um, so I definitely felt that community environment during my, my visit there. And it was definitely more everything and more um, than I expected during my four years there. Nice, good deal. So, um, so you're about to graduate. Graduate's kind of a weird word these days because we are we have to, to postpone it, which I know is kind of bittersweet. I just uh, I just saw Pittman, um, and for, for anyone who's watched our, our YouTube videos, um, they might remember that you and John were interviewed by me a year ago before the student uh, government elections. Um, yeah, that was awesome. That's hard to believe that was a year ago. Right, yeah, and, and probably around this time, maybe a couple months before, but, and, and you wound up winning that election uh, and have served as our student government president this year. What um what's what's next for you? What's the hope? What's going to come after Hampton Sydney? Sure. So um, I I got a job, which I'm very excited excited about. Kind of using our Hampton Sydney alumni network too, which is pretty neat. Um, I had a really great internship um, last summer doing commercial real estate. So when I went into my senior year, um, I had a, a few connections I'd already made over the summer that I kept in touch with, and they sort of put me in touch with um, different people I needed to talk to as well. I ended up going to an alumni event in the fall over in Richmond, um, the Cir Circle Alumni event. And um, I went, even though it was alumni, I went just because I'm in a fraternity and um, being a student by a president, I went to you know represent the students there and kind of let alumni know, you know what's going on on campus. So that was really fun, I enjoyed doing that. And I just happened to talk to somebody who currently works works at the college who was also there. I was I had a conversation with him. Um, and he asked, you know, what are what are your plans for after graduation? What do you what are you thinking about doing? So I told him, you know, about my internship and what I was interested in doing. And he said, I know, I know you know, some guys that you should talk to, some Haven City alums. I said, and morning came around and I already had a, an email um, that this individual he had sent out to two, two different guys in Richmond and copied me on email and said, you need to, you know, get in touch with this young man. So I ended up driving to Richmond one day and meeting, meeting with these guys. Um, they were super helpful. You know, they told me up front that they weren't really hiring at the moment, but they were more than happy to sit down with me, talk about what they do and, you know, try and put me in touch with different people. So that meeting alone gave me, you know, a handful of connections in Richmond and in the Hampton Roads area too. Since I'm from Hampton Roads, I was looking at job opportunities in both Richmond and Hampton Roads. Um, and that meeting right there with some Hampton City alums made a connection um, with a guy in Norfolk, who's actually gonna be my mentor starting this summer at the company nice. where I'm working. That's awesome. Yeah, very cool. And I feel like, you know, I feel like those stories aren't rare. I feel like that, that kind of stuff happens, you know, 
on the daily to uh, to our guys. Do you feel like looking back, uh, there was there's any curriculum or any class not really within your major that that has helped set you up long term, looking forward, either whether that was in the job search or you know otherwise. Sure, I know. I know we talked about you know the liberal arts um, in general, which is something I really have appreciated. And it's one thing that that drew me to Hampton Sydney because I had no idea going to college what it was. You know, I wanted to study specifically, so I knew you know if I study a little bit of everything, I could you know narrow down my interests. You know, once I pick a major. So as far as you know, the liberal arts definitely you know you learn how to learn, which I think is really important. You know, you you don't just focus on one specific thing. You learn a lot about you know, different subject areas, which I think helps can apply to any any job that you take on because you're all you're gonna be a lifelong learner no matter what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, um, our rhetoric program has definitely helped me a lot personally. Um, every Hampton, Hampton City man has to take rhetoric, but I I really could see myself improving during my first year taking rhetoric classes. So I you know told myself I wanted to you know pursue the minor. Um, yeah. That's definitely you know, giving me more confidence when it comes to picking up the phone and making cold calls, you know, calling alumni or, you know, writing emails, you know, I'm definitely a lot more confident and, you know, being able to communicate how I want to with, with people, whether it's as a senior, you know, trying to find a job or hopefully once, you know, once I start my job this summer, I definitely can attribute a lot of that to the rhetoric program. That's awesome, man. Um, so you've already talked a little bit about um, our, our network, how it worked for you, the curriculum. What, um, I guess I'm curious, what, what advice, if any, would you give current high school seniors who are kind of trying to make the same decision you made four years ago? Um, is there anything you would want to tell them? As a high school senior or later on while you're at Hampton Sydney? Uh, either. Yeah. I would say definitely focus on, you know, building relationships. Um, no matter who, who you're talking to or who you come in contact with, just remember to treat everybody kind of the same, whether it's a Hampton Sydney alum or not. Building those relationships can definitely help help you in the long run. You know, you never know what kind of doors could open up for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, sweet man, anything else before we uh, before we part? No, I'll sit here and talk to you all day, Marshall. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Ben, thanks so much. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us and um, go Tigers. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Go Tigers. Yeah.